Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can enter an order and the multiple ways to enter an order and the multiple ways to put in a stop loss or a profit target. Okay, so let's take an example here of Tesoro. You come to the order entry and you choose Tesoro. That's the stock and this is the current price. Okay, now let's just say you want to buy it at the current price right now at the market. So whatever quantity you want to choose, you choose that. Then you choose the order type and you go to market. Okay. And it tells you right here, a market or order is an order to or sell to buy or sell a security at the price currently available. That means it's going to happen right away, whatever the price is. Okay. And you can do your duration as day and you go ahead and click buy. Okay, then it shows you this. Do you want to buy it? And you just say, yes, send order. And there you go. Order filled. And you saw your quantity over here increased. All right. Now, if you want to put in a stop loss to minimize your losses, you come to stop. A stop order triggers a market when the par price, uh, market reaches the, the stop price. A sell stop order is always set below the current market price. And a buy stop order is always set above the current market price. So I'll tell you what it means. So we're going to focus on a sell stop. That means if the price drops to $80, we want to be out of the market okay so with that being said you're going to go click sell and this is telling you hey if the uh, if the market drops it will at $80 your position is going to close and you'll be free all right and that's in the orders section here and we can see that it's been accepted hundred yeah so those are your stop now this is what you can do here is that you come over and you look at the details hmm what we want to be doing is let's cancel order yes so I want to show you something here all right you choose to Zorro you want to do the stop price and we're going to change the duration to good till cancelled. This is very important because then this keeps your stop loss open. Day would mean that at the end of the day, it will the uh, the stop loss order will be removed, and you don't want that. You want it to be uh, for a longer period. And you choose the price again at eighty dollars, and you choose sell. Okay, sure. Now let's say you want to sell to Zorro once it reaches $100, okay? So you have bought it at $84 and your stop loss is $80, so your risk is $4.40 per share, but you want to sell to Zorro at $100. So you go ahead and you put a stop here, okay? and you choose your stop price to be 100 and this is where the stop buy comes into play enter the stop price that triggers your order when it reaches the market price so stop is at 100 and we're going to keep it good till cancel and we're going to do a buy order actually hold on A send order sell reverse your exit okay okay so what this is going to do is we're going to do a buy order all right and that's what's gonna happen so what what's happened is that we executed hundred shares at eighty four dollars and fifty three cents which is the market price then we put a stop loss for eighty dollars that means if the stock drops to $80 from 84.53 your position will close automatically all right 
now if the price goes up to hundred dollars it will also close automatically and you will be able to gain in profits and that's exactly how you want to be able to trade where you're able to lock in your profits as much as you want them to be at the minimum but you also have your risk connected to it now let's take an example of apple okay let's take a look at apple and let's just say we want to buy apple at 156 dollars so instead of choosing market we're going to choose limit because that's not the current price and we're just going to choose 156 and we're going to choose this to be good till cancelled and we buy it okay send order then we come again to apple and we choose stop and we think that we want to sell it at 150 okay and we'll keep this good till cancel and we'll put a sell order all right that's done and apple we think we would want to sell it again if it goes to 200 dollars a share okay you choose good till cancel and you use a buy this time because you're going to try to close it at a profit okay so check this out you bought it at 156 dollars all right if it goes against you to 150 it will be automatically sold but you can also have a buy stop where when the price reaches 200 dollars it will automatically close itself as well so i hope that this puts it more into perspective of how we are trading the ones that you should really be more uh, focused on is the buying at the market price or the buy limit and the sell l limit order okay sell order those are more important don't worry about the buy stop so much worry about managing your risk because this you can just keep open and whenever you feel like closing a position you just come to it and can, like you can come to this position here for Apple and you can just close it whatever the price is all right so that's that guys I hope if you have any questions let me know I'm actually hold on I'm not sure why this even triggered because it wasn't supposed to but hmm that's interesting so yeah let's just say here you're at this point and you're like okay you know what I, I just want to close my position I think I've made enough money or lost enough so see the whole quantity comes here and you go to market day and you sell once you do that okay so I would have to first cancel my other orders that I have for Tesoro and then I would have to make this change so yeah if you have any questions let me know but this is the best way to do it and you know if if anything concerns you uh, just keep me posted all right take care